if you host events, there is now a way within Constant Contact to build a registration page uh, to promote your event. And it's really great. Uh, if you go to create, you can see events. It's in beta here, which means that there's still maybe a couple of bugs, but um, you know it's almost there. It, there might be some things that might not work exactly. Um, but you can see that this now is starting to look very familiar in terms of it being built on the email um, uh, user interface. So you get starting to get a real familiarity in how you build events. I can't tell you how long I've waited for Constant Contact to update this, and it's so brilliant that they have. I would say that events in Constant Contact, I would use this if you want to invite your list and limit it to your list rather than um, you want it to be discoverable. If you want a discoverable event, I would still use Eventbrite, but this is great for inviting your list to your emails. So an event image, um, you could, it could be your logo or it could be something that you have created. Um, you can see that the um, it's pulled out there, so you might want to edit it and um, have something that's uh, a little bit fits a little bit uh, better in that space and you can see that the recommended size is here so it gives you an idea of what um, size you want to use and remember if you um, create your image in Canva, Canva integrates with Constant Contact so you can export your image straight from Canva into Constant Contact so uh, do that and then your event title so it could be um, I don't know, it could be the, uh, let's say, autumn, autumn shindig. And I'm going to invite my list to it. Um, join me for drinks and nibbles um, to celebrate. Um, to celebrate one fire night. There you go. And but your your event obviously you've got six hundred characters here, so your your event description can be a little bit more uh, detailed than that. And you can pick the type of event it is. So it um, maybe I'm doing this for charity to uh, have a fundraiser. Um, it could be a business event. You can see that there's a lot of different um, types of events that you can have here. I'm going to put networking club. Now my location, it's physical. I want people to uh, do, you know, to come and uh, to a physical location. Um, but I don't have it yet. So maybe I'll just put to be announced. Um, but they know that I've, it's going to be a physical location because I've asked them to join me for drinks and nibbles. And then, uh, so I said bonfire night. So where is bonfire night? So the closest for an e a, a business event might be the 2nd of November. And I'm going to go from 6 until 9. So yeah. Um, we can close registration automatically. So if you want to make sure that people um, can't register after, after a certain amount of time, you can do that. Um, so I might set the registration to close at maybe lunchtime um, so that I don't have people randomly adding them, adding themselves to my list. And I want my um, my time zone set. So where are we? Where's my time zone? There we go. Um, and I can display the time zone and then contact information. So you can use the account information and you see if you've got people's email addresses and this is why it's so great for inviting your lists because you've already got that information in your account if not um, you can uh, put in full name uh, you can um, oh sorry this is my my information so this is my contact information and I can display it to uh, the registrants. So then I'm going to continue. Um, I haven't created anything yet, so I want to create some tickets. So I want a ticket. And here we go. So it's free. It's a free networking event. And remember, we called it the Autumn Shindig. 
um, and then um, you know uh, bring this ticket along to claim a free drink oh drink on me there we go and I don't want loads of people coming because I don't want to shut out the rest of the drink um, and my event is going to be quite um, quite uh, small it's going to be quite intimate and I'm only going to make 15 tickets available and here's my date range so I can set a date range from when tickets um, can uh, be available to and remember you can set this uh, the limit time limit for people to um, claim their ticket so I can start it today and I can end it at that point I can display the remaining tickets on checkout I can uh, reveal a ticket with a code what does that mean well let's have a look so a redeemable promo code for your ticket. So if you want to know more about that, you can go and find that in the help. Um, so I'm going to save and close that. And there's my ticket, my autumn shindig. Um, I can add new things. So I could add a promo code, um, the uh, merch, merch um, or merchandise items for, for sale. You can see that that's coming soon. But if you're hosting a conference or something and you want to sell merchandise this is a good way to do it so now uh the form setup so these this is where people will um put in their details so i can have primary contact info remember i've limited the tickets to one person one ticket per person so that's all i really need or i can have specific ticket types right so I've already got one ticket type and I can allow that person to join my list so where's my newsletter list there it is and I would like to you can change this so I would like to receive your marketing emails they can join that and then I've got my registration form fields so I want uh, first name I want that required last name required and email address required and I might just get a phone number just in case I need to get hold of anybody um, about the event and you can see that those are all in here now you can continue and then if it's uh, a paid event you can take payment so our currency is GBP and here are the payment methods that you can um, take so you've got PayPal, you can do at the door, but um, I'm not I'm not taking any payments because it's a free event. Uh, so I'm going to save and complete that. And here is my event uh, page, my overview, so I can um, activate it. Um, so if I activate that now, say yes. Here we go. So it's accepting new registrations and you can toggle that off if you don't want to. Uh, you can edit this event name um, and you can see I've got 52 days until the event. I'm not selling tickets, so I won't have any revenue. You can see the order and the number of tickets. Um, and now here's the great bit. You can conf edit the confirmation messages. You can create an email to uh, send to your list you can create a landing page right so you can um, host your registration form and share that uh, the events for your detail as a landing page um so if you want to edit the confirmation messages you can see that's going to do that and you can just go in there and you've got quite a few characters there to do that create an email so you can create an invitation that would send you off to an email within constant contact Create a landing page, push you over to, to this screen to find your template and you can create whichever landing page you want. So we'll go back on that. Um, so as I said, this is a great way of um, creating an event. If you're wanting to just invite your list, that's where I would use it. Um, here are the, re uh, the reporting, so you can see the orders, uh, the merchandise, ticket coming soon, promo codes. 
for me, this is a really great way of keeping everything in one place, especially if it is your list that you are going to invite to events. It means that you don't have to build a page somewhere else, copy the registration link, put it into your um, email. Uh, you can do everything in one place. So this is fabulous for me and I'm so glad that Constant Contact has updated this. I hope you try it and if you do, let me know.